Okay, video 11, coming into really strengthening those legs, isolating them individually, as well as gaining length and stretch and strength through the core and the side bodies. So, we're coming into warrior two. So again, placing feet together, step that back leg, and keep those toes pointed. We don't want them both pointing forward, that's a lunge. So for warrior, we want the toes to be facing outward, where our chest and heart are. And then check in, bending that knee, making sure that it's above that ankle so you can still see your toes. Then checking in with our core, make sure that your rib cage is stacked right above your hips. We don't want them swaying side to side. Keep everything nice and engaged. And then open up those arms, really drawing them apart. Shoulders are down, rib cage is moving up and away from your tailbone. So really getting a lot of length and action in the back, as well as really tightening and toning and strengthening the thigh as you're really engaging that there. So this is for your two. For variation, you can come into extended side angle, placing that elbow on that knee, just gently, don't put all of your weight there, and really reaching that arm up overhead, really stretching those fingers, and you can really feel that whole side body engage, really in the obliques there. And then reversing that warrior, lightly place that palm down, extending the arm overhead, and then twisting your chest up towards the ceiling, keeping that front knee bent. Always want to make sure that that knee is bent. And that's the Warrior 2 series.